Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to progressively flash the steps to a process with Divi's scroll effect. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. We're going to give this page a name, but by the way, you can name this whatever you want. So I'm going to call my page flash the steps. And also I'd like to um, remind you that the technique we're going to use in this tutorial can be used on an existing page, but for demo purposes, I'm just going to build this from scratch. All right. So I'm going to click here on use Divi builder. I'm going to click on start building. And we are going to go with four equal columns. Now, before we add any modules, we need to go into our row settings. And in here, we need to go into design and set our gutter width by clicking here on sizing. Now, the gutter width is the space between the two columns. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to two. That's just reducing them a little bit. Next, we need to uh, set up our maximum width because by default, it's set to 1080. So we want this to be 80%. And then we're going to save. Next, we're going to add our text module. So I'm going to go ahead and search for my text module here and select it. So we are going to add our text in here and let's start adding it. So I prefer just um, typing it first. So this is going to be zero one. And then on the bottom, we're going to say plan and sketch. So now that we have this set, we need to highlight uh, the text that says plan and sketch and then set this to heading two. Now let's go ahead and customize this text. So we're going to come over here to design and we're going to change our text. So we're going to set this to Lato. So I'm going to come up here and search for Lato. And by the way, this is a free font. So go ahead and search for it and use it. On the weight here, we are going to uh, set this to bold. And we also need to set our text color by coming over here. And I'm going to add my text color like that. Now, if you want to use the exact same colors and sizes as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right. So now that we have this set, we need to now work on our heading too. So I'm just going to click here on this brush tool and let's change our heading font to Oswald. So I'm going to search for it like that. And uh, we also need to work on the size. So first of all, before we do that, let's go over here to our font weight and we're going to set this to light. And then for our size, we're going to set this to 32. Let's go to our letter spacing and set this to one. And for our line height, we're going to set this to 1.3. Right. So now that we've set all this up, uh, we still have more things to set up. So we need to add a padding both to the top and the bottom. So let's scroll all the way down here to spacing. So for our padding, we're going to set it up here. And since we're going to add the same value, to the bottom, we can just activate this chain, right? So now that I have that, we are going to also add our border around this. So let's go ahead and do that by coming over here to border. And we are going to set our border width to one pixel. And we also need to give this border a color. So I'm going to click here on this eyedropper tool. And because this is going to have a bit of transparency, I'm going to drag the slider down a little bit so I can get my RGBA values and then paste my value between the brackets. All right, so uh, now that we've uh, set this up, we also need to uh, set our margin. So I'm going to come back over here to spacing and set my margin. So my margin bottom here needs to be zero. Now, as I'm looking at this, I can see that my text in here is way too close to the edges. So that needs to be fixed by also adding a 10% to the left and the right. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to add my 10% here and I'm also going to apply it to the side. All right. So that's looking great. Now, the next step now is to add an image module. So I'm going to save this, click on this plus button and search for my image module and select it. So uh, to add my image, I'm going to come over here and the image I'm going to go with is this one here. But note that this image has transparency and also the size is 800 by 640 pixels. Now, it doesn't mean that the image has to have transparency. You can just use any image as long as it has roughly these dimensions. All right. So I'm going to click upload an image. So now you can see my image has been added. So what I need to do next now is to save this and then I need to save myself a lot of time. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings and delete all these rows, which don't have anything in them. And then just duplicate this three times. 
there we go. So now I don't have to go in and do all the steps that I did in step number one. So now that I have this now, all I have to do is to go into each and every one of these and change the titles. So I'm going to go into this one here and this one is going to be called digital refinement. I'm going to save this. So next I'm going to go in and change this image. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon and choose my image. So the image I'm going to go with is this one and note that the sizes are the same. So it's 800 by 640 pixels. Okay. So I'm going to upload my image. I want to save that. Okay. So now go ahead and finish off the other two columns. So I've gone ahead and um, added the numbers as well. So this is one, two, three, and four. I've also added my images. So the next step now is to add our scroll effects to column one. And to do that, I'm going to come over here to my row settings, click on this gear icon, go to column one and click on advanced scroll effects. Okay. So now that I'm on scroll effects, the next step now is to just add all the information that I need. So here I need to start off with fading in and out. So I'm going to go ahead and select that activate it and now i need to add the finer details so my ending opacity here needs to be zero my midpoint is fine at 100 and i'm going to split now the middle here which is the viewport to 60 40 so drag this down to 40 and i also need to adjust my viewport bottom to 35 there we go and uh, over here now the viewport top needs to be at 65 so i'm going to drag all this way down to 65 and then save. Next, we're going to go into column three, scroll effects. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, advanced scroll effects. And again, we're going to go into the fading in out, activated. So this time we are going to adjust this and this is going to be slightly different because this needs to come all the way up to 75. And over here, it needs to be at 55. There we go. Right. So our viewport bottom needs to be at 50%. So I'm going to drag all this way up to 50% and the top needs to be at 80%. There we go. Great. Now we need to work on our ending opacity, which needs to be at 0%. Now moving ahead, we need to go to column four. So I'm going to go back over here, go into column four, advanced scroll effects, fading in and out set this to yes and again we're going to set our mid part so this one here needs to be at 90 and our viewport top needs to be at 95 and here we need to be at 65 there we go and our ending opacity needs to be at zero so we're going to go back and we also need to do number two i almost forgot that so we're going to come over here to advanced scroll effects and pretty much we're adding the same effect. So we're going to go to fading in out, activate it. We're going to split the middle here to 60. And this needs to be at 40. Drag all this way to 35 and 65 and 0%. Okay, so we're just going to go back over here. Now it's time to add a heading. All right, so let's save this. So we're going to click here on this plus button and we're going to add a single column. And in this, we're going to add a text module. So I'm going to search for it and select it. And we're just going to call this our process. So I'm going to highlight all this and replace it with our process. Now this is a heading. So let's set this to heading two. And then we need to go in and stylize it by clicking here on design, heading text. Make sure you're on the heading two tab. Let's change our font here to Lato. And for our size, we're going to set this to light and we're going to make it all caps. Now it's time to give this a color. So I'm going to come over here to my color picker and paste my color in here. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right. So now that I have this all set, uh, now it's time to set my text size. So I'm going to set this to 70 and our letter spacing is going to be 0 0.5 and this needs to be em now for this to really balance this needs to be centered so we're going to go ahead and center it and then we're going to save this and drag this to the top so i'm just going to grab the handle here and make sure this is on the top and you can see here as i begin to scroll this is going to work so for this now to really show correctly we need to add 
a bit of uh, space to the top and the bottom. So let's go back in to our rows or even our section settings and give this a bit of padding. So let's say we're going to give this 15 VW and both to the top and the bottom and save. And now when we try to scroll, you can see now everything coming into space. All right, so we're going to save this page and then we're going to do a quick preview. All right, so as we scroll, we can see here the first part, the plan and sketch is showing. Now is the digital refinement, color and branding, and then the final result. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.